Good evening, everyone. I'm Matthew Rand. Five Americans who were imprisoned in Iran are, are in the process of being freed tonight. A prisoner swap was confirmed shortly before it was announced that Iran has met all measures spelled out in the landmark nuclear deal. The U.S. and other world leaders also lifted crippling sanctions that had been imposed on Iran. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports from New York. Iranian state television announced the news Saturday, a swap of four Americans being held prisoner in Iran in exchange for seven Iranians held or charged in the U.S. The U.S. State Department also dropped international arrest notices and charges for 14 Iranians. The four freed Americans are Washington Post reporter Jason Rezaian, former U.S. Marine Amir Hekmati, American businessman Nosratola Khosravi Rudsari, and Pastor Saeed Abedini, whose wife spoke from Boise, Idaho. I just ran straight for my kids, and then I told my parents, so, and then I called his parents and his sister. They were all bawling and they were getting calls. Student Matthew Trevithick was also released as part of a separate agreement. They should be on their way home to their families. Uh, before long. The prisoner swap was announced hours before the United Nations nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, certified that Iran has met its commitments as part of the historic nuclear deal with six world powers. Iran has undertaken significant steps that many, and I do mean many, people doubted would ever come to pass. President Obama signed an executive order lifting U.S. sanctions related to Iran's nuclear program. That means Iran can now sell oil on the open market. Iran will have access to the global banking system. And the country will recover $100 billion in frozen assets overseas. If it's discovered that Iran is still moving ahead with its nuclear program, the deal calls for sanctions to once again be imposed. Wendy Gillette for CBS News. Iran has also agreed to investigate the whereabouts of retired FBI agent Robert Levinson, who disappeared in Iran in 2007.